want to shoot some video of what uh, the winter of 2010 is doing for the beautiful downtown Gaithersburg, Maryland. This is uh, about 5 o'clock or so on Wednesday night. I believe today is February 9th or 10th, but this is out my front door. Here's my flag, which normally hangs to the ground almost, or just short of the ground. Uh, if you look out across the street, I'm sure you can see that really well. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's my neighbor's house. He's got about four or five foot icicles coming off of his roof. That'll eventually, at this rate, be reaching the ground, hopefully before his roof gives out. Uh, we're actually under a blizzard watch until about 11 o'clock tonight. I'm going to step out. Actually, I shoveled some of the walkway here that was clear yesterday. Once again, this is about in front of my house, uh, about three or so feet of snow. You can see the mounds piled up. This is the neighbor's yard, obviously, and the sidewalk. We had just finished digging these cars out yesterday and got all the snow out of the street and all the snow off the cars. Now I've got about probably another foot of snow on the car as it stands now. So looking down the street, some brave souls out either walking the dog or walking the children, one of the two. But uh, here's what my house looks like. And you can see my roof's probably not a whole lot better. I've got a good three and a half, four feet of snow on my roof right now, on my lower roof. About the same on the upper roof as well, with uh, no way of getting up there to clear the snow. Uh, short of climbing on the roof, and even I'm not that stupid. Uh, that little mound there just blow off from the roof on the lower roof. I haven't heard any ominous sounds of creaking yet, but uh, does not look happy. My neighbor's house doesn't look a whole lot better. Well, actually, nobody's house is a whole lot better. The lower roofs, I'm the only one with a low roof in this neighborhood, but uh, it does look uh, kind of scary, kind of scary out there. Let me give you a kind of perspective out into the street. Neighbor cleaned his car off, a very smart guy. The wind's blowing pretty hard, so it won't last very long, but this is my street. Obviously, that's all ice. Here's our cars, once again, covered in snow and ice. And these are the snow mounds that have been kicked up by the uh, plows that came through earlier today. Let's go to the neighbor who cleaned his car off. By the time we're done with the next hour or so, his car will be covered up again. It's kind of a useless endeavor at this point in time. Once again, here's my down my street. The wind's actually kicked off a little bit and it stopped blowing as hard as it was before. It was going with 30, 40 miles an hour to the point in time where you couldn't actually see anything that was going on. Once again, all the damage to the trees along the side of the house uh, and the snow drifts. You can see this is actually quite a bit of snow. I mean, we've got, you know, probably a good three and a half feet of snow built up between snow drifts and uh, plows coming through. But uh, that's up at least up to my waist, if not higher. So uh, if you've been here before and you're seeing it again, this is a very, very different perspective than what you're used to seeing outside of my front door. Uh, in beautiful downtown Gaithersburg, Maryland. So, signing off now. Enjoy the video. Uh, I'm sure you guys who have uh, been here before to my place or at least been to Gaithersburg know this is not a normal winter here. This is more like uh, winter in Minnesota as opposed to winter in Maryland. Uh, actually, I think Minnesota had less snowfall this year, at least St. Paul has, than we have here in Gaithersburg. So, uh, once again, signing off. Have a great day. And we'll... Uh, be trying to dig the school out and get back to work sometime in the next 24 to 48 hours. Take care, guys. Bye.